what I realized losing everything. Where to begin? Right where you are, motherfucker. This isn't something my ego wants to share with the world. It has been holding me back from going public with it because it wants to maintain this level of prosperous, on top of the world, inflated nonsense. When truly, what I'm going through is the complete opposite of that. It's like, I don't want to be honest about the pitfalls and only want to talk about the triumphs, the achievements, the good, without mentioning its twin. It's like I'm trying to brush the bad under the rug, but fuck that. No need to be ashamed. No need to be embarrassed. In life, there are wins and there are losses. I got myself into some shit that really was some shit. And that shit stinks like the motherfucking sewer pipes under the city streets. So to begin, back in February 2021, when I was on top of the world, someone who I considered at the time to be a brother came to me and told me he had gotten himself into some trouble and needed some help. The story was much, much more elaborate, but I'm saving y'all the drama. He told me that he had gotten robbed for what seemed to be well over $2 million. <clears throat> Might I add, this guy had, in the previous three to four years, grown a multi-million dollar real estate company that seemed to be the biggest in its class with over 50 employees. He had all the previous success that made it so easy to fall hook, line, and sinker into whatever sob story he was telling me. So to continue, after about a three-hour conversation of him, of him telling me how he had everything taken from him, he then asked me if, he, if I would be willing to help him out and loan him some money so he can get back on his feet. He asked me for 150K, and the next day it was wired. So that's where the story began. And over the next six months, he had convinced me to lend him an additional 500K. Shake my motherfucking head. And like you probably could already tell, he conned the shit out of me. Might I add that I was not the only one. There were many others that lost money in this elaborate hoax as well. Prominent people whose names I will not mention just know he was definitely the hood Houdini, the black Bernie Madoff. This motherfucker was like that Netflix series about the German girl who conned all of Manhattan's elite. He was that, but the black version. And it wasn't Manhattan. It was Long Island, Newark. And that's how literally all that I had worked for went right down the fucking drain. Six years of blood, sweat, and tears mixed up in this motherfucker's bullshit. In total, I was duped out of 640K, and that's how I lost everything. I considered this guy to be a brother I never had. At a time, I even considered him a mentor, someone I looked up to, and someone I picked up from below the gutter that he threw me back into. It's that crab in the bucket theory. It's a hard fall, but a valuable lesson. The point of the article was to share, was to share what I learned having lost everything. So I will continue as promised. Here are some of the lessons I learned losing 640K in 2021 at the age, at the age of 29. One, money really is power. And once you lose it, you lose it. Two, I was really careless with what I had. And I need to be much, much more secure in my shit. Three, although my life literally was left in shambles, I still remain the same me tried and tested through and through for that money really does make people do some ugly, ugly things, real fucking ugly. Five, the world really does turn a cold shoulder when you don't have shit anymore. Peace.